Hi everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers in Massachusetts have developed a new device that makes it faster and easier than ever to detect and track circulating tumor cells in the blood of cancer patients. Circulating tumor cells, or CTCs, are useful for early diagnosis of cancer and for tracking the effectiveness of cancer treatments. Unfortunately, they can be difficult to find since they're outnumbered a billion to one by other blood cells. Now, a team at the Massachusetts General Hospital Cancer Center, with funding from the National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering, has developed a device that uses tiny magnetic beads to sort and separate CTCs from blood samples. It's called the CTC eye chip. It's faster than other methods, capable of processing larger blood samples, and able to efficiently isolate and collect CTCs from whole blood to be studied. It's still in the very early stages of development, but the team that built it is confident that one day it, or technology like it, will enable closer, more accurate disease monitoring and more personalized, effective cancer treatments. It's always exciting for me when astronomers discover an object they aren't sure how to classify. Well, astronomers at the University of Toronto have found such an object. It's a mere 500 light years from Earth, and they aren't sure whether to call it a planet or a star. The object is designated Rocks 42b b. It's nine times the mass of Jupiter, which makes it too small to be classified as a brown dwarf, a would-be star with insufficient mass for nuclear fusion, but it's also orbiting another star, Rocks 42b, at an estimated distance of 157 AU, that's over 14 billion miles, which is much, much further out than would be expected of a planet. So how do we categorize this thing? Is it a star? Is it a planet? Is it something else? One thing it certainly is, is a reminder that the universe is stranger than we imagine it to be, and that our models of it, however refined and precise, will never be able to describe it or predict it perfectly. There will always be objects like rocks 42BB that defy categorization and force us to think outside the box, and they will always be good news. Finally, speaking of celestial objects, astronomers in Baltimore, just a little over an hour from where I'm standing, are using 3D printing technology to transform photographs taken by the Hubble Space Telescope into three-dimensional tactile images that can be experienced by the visually impaired. Carol Christian and Antonella Noda of Baltimore's Space Telescope Institute have been experimenting with 3D printing to create solid structures based on Hubble images that can be explored through touch by students who are blind or have visual impairments. They created a series of 3D printouts based on the Hubble image of NGC 602, a star cluster located outside our galaxy in the small Magellanic Cloud. The astronomers hope to eventually design 3D versions of all Hubble images and to make them freely available online so that anyone with access to a 3D printer can make their own. New technology enables improved early detection of tumor cells, a newly discovered celestial object blurs the line between planets and stars, and 3D printing allows the visually impaired to explore the mystery and wonder of the universe as captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. That's the good news. Is it my imagination or are you a little grumpy?